Louise, it's really nice to visit you. It's great After to that, have you. I mean, you've been back for how long now? Two months. Two months. Yeah. Has, has that been a shell, a, a shell shock to you? A little bit, yeah. I mean, it was just, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to go travelling. And, uh, but since coming back, I've kind of, it's given me renewed vigour, I think, here, you know, just sort of, you know, you get you get a different perspective by being away and travelling on your own and coming back. And so it was nice to come home again as well. But uh, I wasn't homesick the whole time I was uh, travelling, so I wasn't sure what it was going to be like, but um, it was nice to come home. So the things we were talking about dinner last night that sort of struck me and I hadn't thought the effect it would have on you was you came back with a slightly different outlook in life and I, I found that a bit surprising that a person of you know, what you do it would be so profound why, why was that? I think because before I went away um, I basically um, I probably lived to work and now it's kind of a role reversal where you know <laughs> I work to live and I enjoy doing the other things and, and maybe realising that taking time out and, you know, the job's still there, I've come back, I'm still doing what I did before I went away, so um, to an extent you, you realise that, you know, people can do without you and so you may as well come back and kind of enjoy life a bit more instead of working 14 hours a day. <laughs> well, that's terrific. Now, the other thing I, I always wanted to ask you, uh, which again we talked about last night was that nine weeks you, you were away, uh, particularly with uh, the brief that you agreed to do with the uh, with the fellowship, Winston Churchill Fellowship. What what were the things that really sort of left in your mind in terms of lasting impressions of Scots in America? Um, probably the people I met more than anything. Uh, you know the hospitality. I mean I met. It, yourself and Trish obviously included and people who it, it really doesn't matter where you are you I mean like Sandra described it she said you know Harry and Trish now feel like people we've known our whole lives do you know what I mean yes, they were, yeah. you met people and okay it's in North Carolina and you know miles from home but there was still a sort of connection and I don't know if that's because we're all Scots but you know, even people that I met who maybe had left Scotland a very long time ago and, and been brought up in in America, there seem, seemed to be a connection. There's still a sort of Scottish kind of sure connection. The the and that, and that I can understand in terms of from a people perspective. But the sort of reason is well, why did you go there in the first place? And what drove people? What what did you observe from that perspective? Well, from that perspective, I think what I observed um, is the same... Uh, the, the reason I went, I suppose, is, is the same reason lots of Scots have gone elsewhere, not just to North America, but there seems to be a kind of almost like an itchy feet syndrome, an explorer syndrome, and Scots do seem to like to go uh, and travel and explore, and they seem to do quite well. And the Scots that I met in North America, that seemed to be the story throughout, that they've gone there and they've been quite successful. So they seem to go, and, and although there's a connection to home, they adapt really easily, and there seemed to be an adaptability. So I, I guess you found the people that you met were, to a certain extent, they, mu they must have been driven people. Very, yeah. But hopefully fun-loving too. Absolutely, all the way along. That was one thing the, the, that I found part of the project. I wanted to know why Scots have gone and done so well. And the key all the way along is that they tend to be very hard-working, uh, driven but also very hard-working. And, and also, um, they don't shout about their own achievements. So it's quite funny. I met so many people when I was over who have gone and maybe left a lot of people who are Glasgow University graduates and gone on to be very successful. But you almost stumbled across that. You, you know, when you were interviewing them, you sort of discovered that they were running, you know, a big insurance company or, or things like that. Lawyers. Yeah, exactly. Be, yeah. Exactly. Or, or doctors, you know, at Harvard and things like that. But it was almost secondary they didn't sort of tell you how successful they were did, did you get any perspective on you know, visited several was from our point of view some states washington quebec montreal new york as a country though and of course you saw the pope which yes. must have been a real experience <laughs> it was stepping back from the sort of scottishness and the people you were viewing what was your impression of america my impression was you know, what was great and what we, what Sandra and I found was just the contrast to go from, say, New York to driving across North Carolina. You know, you're, you're maybe 
an hour and away by, by plane.